Are you tired of weight loss products filled with artificial ingredients and empty promises? Discover the power of nature with Pure Revive, the ultimate solution for healthy weight loss. Check out the link in the video description now to start your journey with Pure Revive. Austrian incest monster Joseph Fritzl is to be placed under guardianship due to his advancing dementia, the Krems Public Prosecutor's Office has said. Fritzl's lawyer, Astrid Wagner, said she intends to fight the process by which the court will appoint another person to act on behalf of the 89-year-old because he has been deemed incapable of making decisions on his own. It is typically done to prevent the abuse of the person involved by another party, but Wagner claims that the appointment of an adult representative to manage Fritzl's affairs not tenable. Although Fritzl has beginning dementia and delusional episodes, a representative is neither necessary nor justified as he has no business to attend to and does not own any property, said the lawyer. It comes after Wagner revealed last month that the delusional Fritzl had instructed her to start looking for a new house in the country, despite judges recently denying him hope of an early release due to his unprecedented criminality. The depraved rapist fathered seven children by his daughter Elizabeth while he kept her as a sex slave in the basement of the family home. The 89-year-old, who was handed a life sentence in 2009, was recently moved from a maximum security hospital wing for the criminally insane in Stein to a regular prison. The transfer, based on a decision by a three-member panel of the Krems Regional Court, became legally binding at the end of May. In mid-May, a decision was also made on a general conditional release from the normal prison to freedom. The authorities determined that this was not possible for special preventive reasons, according to Austrian media. They added that, Given the unprecedented criminal energy in connection with the convicted crimes, it cannot be assumed that future freedom from crime will be guaranteed. Fritzl will be on a 10-year probation in the regular prison, meaning he could be returned to the higher security facility. The regional court previously ruled in January that Fritzl no longer posed a threat to society, and therefore could be moved from a high-security prison to a normal jail. This decision went on to be viewed as the first step in a process which could result in the Fritzl being released from prison completely. Prosecutors then opposed the lower court's decision, and the Vienna Higher Regional Court ruled that the facts necessary for such a conditional release had not yet fully been clarified. The Vienna Regional Court ruled in the District Court of Krems had made the wrong decision, and that Fritzl still had the potential for aggression, and so was still a danger. But in April, Fritzl's lawyer managed to convince the Krems court that her client has a right to all the benefits of Austrian justice, which includes being released from a high-security prison if he is not dangerous. Incest monster Joseph Fritzl has been granted conditional release from a prison for the mentally ill by an Austrian court. A hearing on April 30 was supplied with psychiatric and medical findings, on the basis of which the court determined that, due to a comprehensive, progressive dementia and physical deterioration, the prisoner's combined personality disorder, which made the admission necessary, has been buried in such a way that the prisoner's dangerousness has been reduced and no criminal offense with serious consequences is to be expected is. Fritzl's heinous crimes, including rape, coercion, and imprisonment, sent shockwaves across Austria and Europe in 2008. Elizabeth, who he abused from the age of 11, disappeared in 1984 at age 18. For more than two decades, Fritzl held his daughter captive in a cramped and moldy basement beneath his home in Amstetten, which he built. He raped his daughter thousands of times over many years, with the abuse resulting in the birth of seven children, three of which remained in captivity with their mother. One died at the hands of Fritzl, a matter of days after being born. He's disposed of the body in an incinerator. The other three were brought up by Fritzl and his wife, Rosemary, who lived in the house above. The discovery of his sickening crimes occurred only when one of his daughters fell critically ill, forcing him to seek medical help. Facing trial in March 2009 for a horrific litany of charges, including murder, rape, and slavery, Fritzl was handed a life sentence. Fritzl was sentenced to Lee.